We're gonna look at Hit the Road. We're not gonna do a specific journey today. We're gonna to be looking at some of the highlights of all the different places we've been over the last few months, and we're just gonna pick some of the best parts from that, so check it out. Mm -hmm. Part one, we're off to see Ben and Rahima live in South uh, Bristol. We're off oh, to see uh, the Coopers. Off to see the Coopers. Job and Rich. In a Mini Cooper. Yeah, in the Cooper to see the Coopers. So we're gonna go and visit Jamie, which is where I used to nearly, I used to live near next to Jamie, that's how we met. We're going to Thornbury. Thornbury or Thornbury? Well, Thornbury. Yeah. Thornbury. Well, Josephine lives in Thornbury. What? Today on the road with Joab and Rich, um, mm -hmm. we are going to be going to see Lara and Aaron. Mm -mm. Who are we visiting today? We are visiting one of the funniest people in church. Oh, is it? I believe. So, um, and we're going off to see Maxine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Maxine's actually going to come and see us. Uh, we're off to Clevedon. Clevedon! Yeah. We're going to see Nick and Kathy. <laughs> What made you feel like, yeah, we were going to travel that far and then to continue coming um, for the last year, year or so? Just being fed, I think. Yeah. And having that sort of unified thirst and uh, hunger for truth and it's not compromise. Um, we just met where we're at. Yeah. The welcome of the church um, yeah. and the the sense of family. Um, but also the sense of joy. Closeness. There's so much and, joy there yeah. with all the baptisms, of course. But yeah. um, just yeah. generally the worship was so joyful. And you know, if you haven't had like, that in six months, yeah. then you, you just get I blown guess, away yeah. by it. It was really amazing. I've not noticed anyone's got any sort of hidden agendas, so to speak. Like there, you know, there's no sort of... I'm, you know, like, I'm the man kind of agendas. Immediately when I walked in, like, I felt like it was family. Um, and I got quite emotional because it was like the first time I'd really been around adults yeah. since I'd moved, but it felt right. And I think it was God also showing me, like, this is where you can, like, be vulnerable and, like, move forward. Um, and then I got baptised. It's just so welcoming that I wasn't just sat in the back looking at everybody people were coming up and asking who I was and did I and somebody made me a coffee and you know it was just really really welcoming and, and that from the outset is you know a great experience yeah I knew that that this was my place I mean really I just yeah. had to be Joab and I knew wow <laughs> yes yeah. Lord and grace <laughs> yeah, yeah. and um, and all the variety of people yeah. and the lovely ordinary, down-to-earth, warm, people who've, who've walked life, um, real people. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I knew I knew I was in the right place. It feels like at home. I think yeah. I always remember something that you said to argue before about, um, oh yeah, you know, you need, you need to... This is your home. You, this yeah. is your home. It feels like that yeah. now because that's, you know, that's where we are. That's, that's how I feel. Mm -hmm. 